And welcome back to the Generation Iron live stream broadcast. We're here with the most special guest of all. First of all, Arnold, on behalf of Generation Iron and myself, and Vlad and, Cla and Kai here, we want to thank you for putting on this show. Uh, you've given us all an opportunity to, uh, to reach our dreams, and, and it's just amazing to have you here as a guest. I mean, you've kept your word to Jim Armour all this time, and you kept the Arnold Classic here. What's next for you? You brought it out to so many different countries. What's next for the Honor Classic? Well, you know, this is all part of the fitness crusade. I promised myself after I become a champion in bodybuilding that I will go and promote bodybuilding and promote fitness and promote health. And uh, so I've written books, I've done seminars, I've traveled all over the world. I've been the chairman of the President's Council on Fitness. I've uh, you know, introduced you know, a lot of this fitness stuff in the schools, in the public schools. To me, the important thing is that we continue promoting it and really make it a successful fitness crusade. And the Arnold Classic is part of that. And that's why we have not only bodybuilding, but we have weight, weightlifting and the world's strongest man competition. And we have arm wrestling and we have uh, the mixed martial arts and boxing and uh, all the different, over 50 different sports. Right. We have over uh, 20,000 participants here. So it's, it's really kind of like uh, saying to the world, uh, health and fitness and training and bodybuilding and lifting and all of this stuff can be fun and it should be done by the entire family. Yeah, so it's not great. just for the competitive bodybuilder, but it's just for anybody. Women, men, the whole family, everyone, kids, everyone should participate. Yeah, Arnold, what, what do you think we can do as a media company to continue pushing the sport the way you do, to support it and put it more into the mainstream? What do you think Generation Iron can do? Well, I think that the important thing is to just really reach out always and present it to the public in a way so it's appealing. Mm -hmm. uh, so that it's, it's like a ski. You know, it's no different. I mean, you go to the downhill race where they race 100 miles an hour, but you say to the public, not everyone wants to do that. <laughs> we want to just maybe do recreational skiing and then, then you promote also that. And so this is how you get everyone involved in skiing and in snowboarding and having a good time on the slopes. And the same is here. I love when they, when I travel around the world now and no matter which hotel that I stay, no matter which continent it is, they have now a bodybuilding gym. Right. There's mm -hmm. weight resistance equipment, there's dumbbells, there's barbells, there's machines, and there's everything in there. And to me, this 50 years ago, when I came over here, that didn't exist. Right. So we have been very successful in our fitness crusade. And I think like what you guys do, to go and to broadcast live out of here, and to explain it to the people of what they see on stage and what is the posing all about, what's the pose of all about, why does this body lose and this body win and all of this stuff. I think this is very inspirational. These this athletes are very inspirational. Thank you. What you do, because remember, you can have the best thing on stage, but if the people out there don't, don't see it, it they, see, they have nothing, right? Mm -hmm. So this is a very, very important program that you're doing here, and I just love that you're here and that you're broadcasting out of here. The other class. Thank you so much. We try our best. One question, what can the individual at home do that is an athlete or an aspiring enthusiast of our sport to help improve our sport? I think the most important thing is that people have a vision of themselves looking healthy and being strong and being fit. Because as soon as you have the vision of seeing yourself healthy and fit, and then you set a goal and then it's easy to get to that goal and turning that goal into reality. So this is why it is so important to inspire people as much as uh, there was something that triggered off that inspired you. That you went to the gym and that you wanted to be a bodybuilding champion or you. Or you that you train every day and always. Well, I saw the cover of Reg Park, right? He was Mr. Universe, he just became Hercules in the Hercules movies. So when I saw that on the cover, I said to myself, wow, I want to be like that. And that was my inspiration. So, the, so I had a very clear vision where I wanted to go in life. And this makes it feel so good when you know where to go, because then you don't go to the gymnasium and ask yourself every minute, why am I here? Why am I doing another rep? Oh my God, I have to do another 200 sit-ups. That's boring. That's <laughs> right. not a chore. Right. I love going to the gym. Mm -hmm. I love working out. I've seen you working out in the gym. I've seen you work out in the gym. You guys always love working yeah. out because you know that every rep you do, ah, you squeeze it out and say, ah, that's going to give me that extra eighth of an inch pump, you know, that I get better, that I become the champion and all right. So this is what it's about. We have to create a vision for people and inspire them all the time. Well, I have a creative vision. My creative vision is I want to be on the next Expendable movie. 
back. So <laughs> what I want to know is what do me and Kai have to do to, to, to come and be on the next Expendable movie? Don't you think that would be a great idea? Knock the lone store. <laughs> he said knock on the lone store. We are here. And we are not going to leave. Until, until you put us in there. there Let's you call him right now. Let's call Thank you. Thank you for providing a platform for us to stand on. Professional athletes. And thank you so much. Thank amateurs alike. Thank you.